Yeah, we're going to start that game uh, tonight at 7:10. That's the first pitch and temperatures will be right around 46 degrees. Skies will be mostly cloudy, but the big deal will be those temperatures. Uh, they will be dropping through the game uh, through the mid 40s and eventually perhaps into the upper 30s by the time that last pitch is thrown. So you're going to want to war wear a warm jacket tonight. Uh, no doubt about that uh, to be comfortable throughout the game. It's not going to be all that comfortable tomorrow morning. Why? Well, the National Weather Service has put the entire Miami Valley under a freeze warning. Freeze warning, meaning temperatures will drop to below the freezing mark. I think we're going to drop to right around 30 degrees overnight. So if you have any plants that you can bring in or cover up, uh, do the best you can and do that to uh, save those. Here's a look at Live Doppler 2 HD. We're dry. We had a couple showers out there early this morning. Uh, a couple of breaks in the clouds as well. I know I've noticed a little bit of blue sky on some of our uh, cameras around the Miami Valley. That area of low pressure that has been parked over the northeastern uh, New England area for the last uh, couple of days, it's finally going to pull off and it's going to be replaced by this area of high pressure that will build down into our area as we head through certainly the first half of the weekend. I think we see a lot of sunshine as we head through the day tomorrow. And then there is a system out to the west that is going to be dying as it pushes off to the east. Regardless, uh, I think we could see a couple of showers, maybe a Sunday afternoon, a little better chance as we head into Sunday evening and Sunday night, and maybe lingering into early Monday morning, which is important. You can see uh, on that day of the eclipse on Monday, a 30% chance of a shower Monday morning. The good news, we should see increasing sunshine by very late in the morning, early afternoon, and then the uh, time of totality right around 3.09 on Monday afternoon. Right now it looks like partly cloudy. It will be very mild with a temperature then of 70 degrees. I mentioned the fact that we do have just a couple of breaks in the clouds, but overall mostly cloudy right now. Our uh, camera there at Jeff Schmidt uh, Auto Group in uh, Beaver Creek, we're at 46 right now. It feels more like 41. That's something else you want to take into consideration tonight during the game. Uh, wind chills will be in the 30s throughout. Uh, the pressure is rising that uh, breeze out of the northwest at 12, and you can see everybody right now temperatures low to mid 40s across the area. Here's future track as we head through the evening hours. Skies will be clearing and by tomorrow morning we're going to start the day on Saturday with lots of sunshine. Just a few clouds as we head through your Saturday afternoon and then Saturday night. Uh, skies will be mostly clear. I think widespread frost on Sunday morning. Again, another problem for those plants and then increasing clouds with a very slight chance of a shower as we head through Sunday afternoon, but a better chance as we head into Sunday evening and Sunday night. Tonight dropping down to 30 degrees under those clearing skies. So again, a freeze warning from midnight to 10 a.m. on Saturday. Then tomorrow up to 54, so much warmer on your Saturday with that sun in the morning and some clouds in the afternoon. I talked about that frost, widespread frost Sunday morning, 59 degrees. We talked about the eclipse day there on Monday, and then we're going to start with daily chances of rain uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably some storms then.